Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. And before I start discussing what we're going to do with our base, let's take a look at the new duplicates we have. Is there a good one here? Uh, Molehand's Diver's Lungs, that would be good. Good at digging. Irritable Bear, well that's fair enough. Can't build. We've got plenty of builders. Athletics, Tinkering, Construction, no. Digging... Construction and digging, small bladder, mole hands. I think this is going to be the one. We are uh, stress response vomiter. Yes, why not? Stress is fine. May, you were going to join us. Oh, I need to get a name from the last episode. Hang on one second, everybody. Okay, our new dupe is going to be called Justin Gort. Thank you for your top comment to do with pressure switches and all sorts of stuff like that. That's, that's what that was about. So Justin Gort, you were going to join us. There we go. I want you to have that bed there, Justin Gort. I don't want you to sleep up there. There's a noisy sleeper. So, what has been going on? <laughs> Cycle 378. We're doing so well. I've done a few little tweaks and changes since the last episode, but what we're going to work on is a big box in here. I want to call that... What? Uh, no. Okay. I was saving that other one. There we go. To have a look. That's why they've come so close together. Um, I want to work on cooling down our water. At the moment, water comes out the steam geyser and then it's just pumped around very, very hot. We're trying to cool it by running it through down here. It really doesn't work. It really doesn't work. We need to get it into a very cold area. This area here is very cold. We are going to drip the water down into here. In fact, I'm not even going to dig all of this out. If we can build around it like this... We can drip the water in there. It will melt all of this ice into a nice big box. And we'll have some nice cool water. Which will be great. I'm trying to sort of get this mopped down here. Um, can I? I'm probably going to have to mop. Let's have a look. Some of this. Oh, you can't mop it unless it's down flat. Darn it. That's annoying. We're going to have to mop some of that in there. Just to try and get some of this done. But this is all here ready to be built. Is that going to be uprooted? Yeah. So they're building down here. Let's mop that bit up and hopefully that keeps on top of it. We'll see how they go anyway. Um, in here, this is all done. We've got two thick walls apart from here. I've been sort of slowly working my way through. Uh, add in... If I do that as a 9 and that as an 8, that will finish that off. So it's too thick all the way along here. I'm trying to clear out this here so this bit can be done. Um, I put a pump in. Can I run a liquid, uh, liquid wire? An electric wire down here from something. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's far too much running off one transformer. Darn it. I did not mean to do that. I need to run another transformer. Actually, that's not too bad. If I stick another power transformer in there, that should be okay. And then what I can do... Let's see if I can do this first. A wire bridge over from there. Uh, I want it to go over there. Hypothermia. Do not dive hypothermia. That is not good. Yeah, that will run over the top like that. And then we'll have that right next to it there. Yeah. And then we'll have our heavy watt wire come off of that bridge and go into there. Perfect. And then we'll have our normal electrical wire. This one here can join onto that and run these ones at the top. When that actually, we might as well just disconnect that now. I was going to wait until it was built. So if we disconnect that and that, then this transformer, because that's like running that as well, isn't it? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to add that. Yeah, let's disconnect that and that as well. I want that just to run the pumps. And then this one here can run that, all of these, and then run another little wire down here. Boom, 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 boom. That can be on an 8. We don't need this pump yet, but we will do at some point. So we'll pop that into there. There we go. And that should hopefully all get done super quick. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Uh, talking of power transformers and wires, every time it pops up saying one of my wires is broken, um, I will dive in and sort that out and start adding in power transformers where we need to. All of this was running straight off the heavy watt wire. It's now going through this transformer. Uh, we have a second transformer under here, which is working all of these over here. So all of that's working okay. We've got rid of that heavy watt wire that was running all the way through the middle here. Uh, and this was already set up before, so that's fine. 
Good, good, good. How are they getting on down here? Yes, excellent. They're working away at that. And then they're going to start adding in that wall once. I'm getting them to do this ladder first down here. I probably could do with... Yeah, it's... Oh, hello. You're coming around that way. <laughs> Where did you come from? Oh, you're working on this bit down here, are you? Okay, that's fine. There we go. Excellent. Let's just check that out then. Yep, so this one here is working these. That one there is working. What is this? Oh, that's hooked up to the hydrogen power. Um, I will probably also hook that up just to make sure that this thing never stops working. We're going to hook that up to that as well. Because sometimes that doesn't work. Although that battery is always pretty full up. But just to make sure, just to make sure. Good, okay. Uh, the temperature of these are going okay. I had to increase the amount of water coming through to keep them cooler. So that's fine. I've done that. I've just upped it to 300 or something. 500, there we go. So yeah, that's the plan. We're going to build uh, this box around here. I want to get it three thick. Oh, there we go. Look, they've managed to mop it all up. Perfect. Um, so if we do... How should we do this? If I dig out that... There we go. I can then start building across here. Good, good, good. Like I've done with this one. So I can up the priority to nine and that corner will be done. Excellent. So we're going to need to sort of plan out where our pipes come from. We've got this steam geezer down there. Which is running into those, which is fine. They don't mind that. We do have a steam geezer over here. Now, I'll be honest. I mean, we could set that up. And start popping the water through here. It would mean digging a load of stuff out. Putting another box. I don't really need to. We can just have the water coming down here like this. Whatever needs to be going in there does. And then it can come around here and just drip into this. So this pipe is probably going to need to go up here. Yeah, I'm going to deconstruct all of this. Liquid pipe. We don't need that. Can these go in? Unreachable. No! Okay. What we need to do, if it says unreachable, is I've just been going, I think... Whoops. Let's try that again. If we go like that, they can still run on there. Sometimes it comes down to whether somebody can hold their breath long enough to run down here and all the way across here. Okay. Whoa! There you go. Taking all the pipes apart. Excellent. Yeah, that digging still... We could cancel the mop in here, to be honest. Let's... Council, sweep and mop. Sweep and mop, sweep and mop. There we go. Yeah, see, he actually stood here. Couldn't he just run a little bit further? <laughs> anyway, I'll put those in there just so they can do that. Um, how are we doing down here? Yep, yeah, so let's have a look. Is there anybody... Oh, yeah, so basically, getting back to what I was saying, we'll drip it in there. We'll have a nice cold water supply. We'll then pump that up. And that cooler water can go into there. It can go into these. And, I mean, that can have hot water. It doesn't really matter, does it? So we could even have a pipe over there go into that one. We'll see anyway. I've started putting this down to dig out. Oh, something else I did as well. Is over here. Ah, oh, look, we can see already. Look. So all of this is down to hardly anything in here. This is still pumping out. It's somehow finding natural gas... But not all the time. What I did is I opened these doors. Um, so open and open. And a load came from in here. Look, there's a load. There's a load up there. That will probably come down eventually and move along. But there was tons that came flying out. I mean, look at that. That's kilograms worth, not grams. There we go. Look, it's all come flying out. So I might just leave those open now and let all that come out. Because if you look here, look, that's like a 1,000 grams, almost a kilogram. That's like 45 kilograms worth. So that will just push out, and that will carry on pumping. Excellent. Uh, this one over here, let's just slow the game down a bit. Um, this one down here. Oh, that's, look, that's nicely emptied out. I hadn't noticed that. All of the natural gas, that's good. So now it's only pumping... Around the polluted oxygen. Excellent. That's what we want. So a little bit of natural gas down here isn't a problem. I've also disconnected this. We used to have 
the nasty water dripping out of here. Do you remember we set it up last time? So some was dripping out and going into there. And then the rest went down into here. Well, I've stopped it dripping into here now. Because there was so much of it down here. Um, it's basically coming down into our big store. And that's where we're going to keep it from now on. It's just going to live in our big store. So that is the plans that we're working on. Um, this here, if you look at it, awaiting irrigation. It's basically... All of this, this side, well, these ones here are the right temperature and the right pressure of air, and they're growing, which is great. Uh, these ones here are still a bit warm, but it's working. It's The air is still looping round. It is getting colder. Things are cooling down. I've got poor Joshua here. His job all the time is to do this, and he has to do it holding his breath because the pump's right there. There's like always a vacuum where he's standing. I could put it lower down here, but I wanted the cold temperature up the top here. And it is. It's cooling down. It's getting there. So that's really good. Um, I wanted to start fiddling around with the pincher peppers. So I put some of these hanging down up here. I found out... Let's have a look. Pincher peppers. So they need a temperature of 35 to 85. Well, in here, it's like 36. You know, so this would be a perfect place to grow some of those. Air pressure 150. Oh, hang on. No, I was reading the wrong temperature there. Begging your pardon. Air temperature needs 35 to 85. Uh, here it is 24. Yeah, it's a bit cool, actually. It was warmer before, but it's cooled down a bit. But we can heat that up. That is not a problem. We can heat up water. Heat up water. Heat up air. But what I was doing, I was just sort of fiddling around. I just wanted to see what they were like. I'm not necessarily going to grow them there. We can pick an area that's nice and hot. I mean, look at all this. What is this here? That is 48 degrees. So we could run 55 to 60. I mean, it's not perfect, but we could have some growing down here, taking in the heat from that. It needs an air pressure of 750 for the top tier, or at least 150 grams. Not quite. Not quite. We could get some extra air in there, I'm sure, and deal with that. But, oh, here we go. Look, they're building this out. Let's do tiles, do a nine. There we go. They're working away. Um, so let's see. How are they getting on? Whoa, wrong button. If I press E, it opens that. So they're pressing D. Oh, new duplicates. Um, construction. Oh, that would be good. Small bladder, yokel. Can you close down? Early bird. You would be good, but at the moment, we don't have any spare beds that aren't right next to someone who's snoring. So I'm thinking, do you know what we could do? We don't need all the massage tables at the moment. So I am going to deconstruct you, and we're going to have another bed or two over there. And then we could take somebody. Oh, I should have just kept that person for later. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind. Uh, cot, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's put another cot in there. We could fit one here as well, if we got rid of this thing. I mean, plenty of oxygen, to be honest. We really don't need that, do we? Let's deconstruct that. We'll put another cot in there, and then we could move our snoring person to the end somewhere. Let's put these down to a five. I don't know why they're running, to be honest. Five... Five, yeah. Well, anyway, we'll let them carry on with that. Right, so I want to get this, the outline of this room sorted. And particularly double wall, this section here. Or triple wall, this section here, if we can. So I'll let them work uh, away on this and I'll be back when more of that is done. So what I'm tending to do with builds like this, if you look at my priorities, I've got it marked out what exactly what I want. Three thick all the way round. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. And then I put the inside at nine, like this. Uh, and I've got a ladder up and down so they can get to that inside bit. Uh, when they've done that, then I'll put the next layer here at nine. And I'll get them to dig out the outside. Then I'll do the outside one. So just make sure that it's all, all done and we don't get any sort of surprises of bits they can't get to and stuff like that. It generally works out okay. I think they were climbing through here, but they need to dig that out. So that's fine. Um, all of this, I'm just going to try and leave as much of this in here as possible because it's going to be very cold liquid ice. That is exactly what we want. Are they coming down here? Yes. I want to get these out so we can get the floor done too. 
Um, and I've also set some people... Oh, is that another weeds wart seed? We shall have that. Thank you very much. We'll grab that. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I've set some people just to be diggers and builders and nothing else. So we can get this work done. So, yep, yeah, we'll let them carry on. Okay, while they're working away at all of that, I've just noticed we've got like a thousand sleet wheat grains. Uh, so I am going to add to the cook over here. Come on, I want you swept up. Thank you very much. I'm going to add to the recipes here. Uh, we don't want that one. We are going to have some frost buns. Let's make some of those. So that probably means, I mean, we've probably just opened up an area that's got, got more sleet wheat grains in. Look, there's loads of them lying around here, which is good. But it also means, I believe, let's have a look up uh, down here. Where am I going? That our farm is working better as well. So if these are awaiting irrigation, I'm wondering whether we could just hook this up. I don't want to just mess up the temperature of the area. Now it's getting so cold. I think we're going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to put hot water in here again. It's taken me so long to try and cool this down. And look at this water. This polluted water is... Why do we just sweep everything up out of here? And get rid of all of that. I put that down to be taken out before. But that these bottles of water... Um, I don't know if I mentioned it last time. But you can empty storage. So I had nasty water going into these. And I want to change it for clean water. Somebody was saying you should deconstruct them all to do that. You actually don't. You can just use this empty storage thing and do that. Uh, I also seem to be missing three extra ones I could put there. Uh, maybe we'll come back to that. Anyway, yeah, let's get that swept up. And I'm hoping that will also help to cool things down. Do I have somebody who's just down for sweeping? Justin Gortz, a master of everything. Uh, you also harvest and mop. Build, no, you are just going to be a sweeper. We need we need just a couple of sweepers. You don't need to do that, 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 that and that. So you're going to be a sweeper as well. Let's get things swept. Now, considering at the moment I'm running things full speed and I've got loads of priority nines and stuff going on. Yep, there's tiles waiting in there. These guys and girls are doing a fantastic job. Oh, there we go. Look, they're grabbing those as well. That is just what we need. There we go. And I'm hoping they can get around to the rest of these. Yeah, they might be able to get around this way. We've got new duplicates. Let's have a look. Anybody really good? Cooking medicine creative. Vomiter, binge eater, binge eater. Construction. <clears throat> now nah, you would be good. Flatulence, twinkle toes. Yes. Devon, you are going to come and join us. And Devon, you are going to be called Scott McFarland. Thank you very much for your helpful comments. Uh, let's get your name on. You can be printed. Let's just take a quick look at the bedrooms. Insufficient oxygen generation. What, seriously? <laughs> I've got like 2,000. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's have a look. My snorer is here. Joshua. Is he the one that's uh, vitals? Joshua is the one that's got the bad... Let's have a look. Sleeping, relaxing, soggy feet. Where does it say about him? Where does it say about the fact that he snores? Sneez sneeziness? I've never seen that one before. Okay, I must be missing it. Relaxing, sleeping, new friends, soggy feet, stress. I'm pretty sure he's the one that snores. Uh, we'll find out. If we give this bed to Scott McFarlane, I think we'll be okay. I'm pretty sure that's Josh. Who's idle? Otto, why are you idle? Okay, you need to do delivering as well. I forgot about that. There we go. To deliver the stuff that you need. Right, we're going to carry on with getting them to get this stuff done here. Oh, dear. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, he got... Where is he? He's like stuck in a wall or something. What the heck happened there? I don't understand what happened there. I wasn't watching at all. I'd have to go back and see that. No. Is Akari going to be forever trapped in the wall? Can we oh, no. Oh, that is terrible. I wasn't paying attention. Let's get another... Let's get another tasteful memorial up here. Oh, man. That's bad. No. We've lost somebody. I was watching something else on another screen. And 
Uh, let's just put these at a five for now. Let's just deconstruct that. And maybe that one as well. See if we can get Akari out of there. Oh, that is bad. How much dirt have we got? 26,000 dirt. I found a load to dig out so we can, <laughs> we can sort of live off dirt for a while. Oh, man. No way. Uh, I'll assume they'll get to that. Died of hypothermia. Akari, I failed you. I'm so very, very sorry. Look at all this stuff freezing down the bottom. That is great. Oh, I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Right. Pretty sure we're almost done with this section here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. is I'm going to dig that out. And I just want to make sure that none of these are going to crack or leak. We're going to make that there. That's only too thick. Let's make that three thick. Those last few ones we built in, that's like, there we go. So we've got a nice big area to start dripping some of this hot water into. Um, which is coming down this pipe here. It also goes along there. And we basically want to get it down here. So we could run along there and go down here. That, in fact, would probably be the easiest thing. And then put a little vent over here. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, we've got... Oh, we've got this pipe that's coming down here already. To be honest, uh, I'm trying to think whether... Let's have a look. Because that could be heating up this area. I mean, we're putting hot water into there. Yeah, we're actually, I'm going to change it. It's not going to run along here. Because this is where our cold water is going to come in. So, yeah, it's going to run down there. We might as well then have it. I don't want to run it through here. Because the <laughs> temperature on this is really high as it is. Yeah, let's keep it out of the way from everything else. Let's just I'll probably get rid of that valve. Run it straight through here. Uh, liquid pipe. And then we'll have that come up here. Let's see. Where should we go to? I mean, we could have it just literally drop out the top here. If we go up there, along there, and down there. Something like that. And see if we can get a liquid vent there. And just start dropping this water into this area. See how that goes. Um, I've actually got down here. I want to get this done before it all starts filling up with water. So if you could get in there and build that for me, that would be fantastic. Probably means that's got to be dug out. And anything along the bottom there. Yeah. There we go. So as long as they get that built before it fills up, that would be nice. Can they reach all of that? That says unreachable. We're probably going to have to finish this floor along the top here as well then. Let's do that. And let's dig out those bits. There we go. So they can reach. That should be okay. Let's dig out that as well. And that, they should be able to reach through the floor. They not, they can reach through a block. I've seen them do it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is almost all closed off, this other box. So let's finish that. That's going to go right to the corner. They'll get to that. So that's okay. This isn't breaking here, even though it's only two. It's fine. At one point during that um, off-camera work, everybody got really stressed. I was like, had too many nines going on, but we're okay now. I mean, I could have made this square, but I wanted to keep that corner there. There we go, to keep this. I mean, the heat sneaking through there. But we should be okay. We should be okay. Is this unreachable? That's not unreachable. Yeah, they'll be able to get in there. Good. Here we go. I think this is getting finished off. Should be. Let's check out our pipes then. Yeah, so that's going to come around there. So this here, we could actually... I mean, we've got the valve here. Let's just set that to full. And it's going to be interesting to see... What's going on? Oh, there we go. It'll be interesting to see how this works once this is set up. Almost done. Probably don't need that tile there. Go on, you can do it. Oh, <laughs> like, hold your breath. Can't make it all the way. Is someone else going to do it for us? Oh, are you finishing this stuff down here for us? Thank you very much. That's what we need. I just want someone to finish this liquid vent work. So how's things looking up here? I've opened the doors again to let more natural gas out. We have kilograms of the stuff again. Uh, 23 odd kilograms in there. Do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to put these back on auto. There is so much natural gas forming in here. It's amazing. What's down here? 63 kilograms. Yeah, there's, there's loads of it. There's loads of it. I don't think we'll ever get to this down here, but all of this up here. 107, 106 kilograms. So if we dug that out, that would work its way along. 
Do you know what we should do? We should actually get someone to come along and just take that out. And that. Just so this comes and works its way along. So then we can eventually pump it out. That would be great if you can do that. Thank you very much. Oh, an another dupe. Um, yeah, we could take one more, I think. Oh, we've still got the person down here. We dug them out. There he is, down there. Akari. Can we sweep up Akari? We can. But we need this finished up here. Oh, this is done. Here we go. It's dripping through. Uh, what I was going to say was, is the... That hasn't been built yet. So we're waiting for this to be done. Unreachable. Why is that saying unreachable? Darn it. There we go. We'll do that. They'll get to that eventually. And then they'll go and pick him up. Uh, let's quickly check. Dupes. No. 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 We're okay, thank you. Right, this is starting to come through down here. So that is going to start melting all of this. And hope, hopefully, it will just end up being a lot cooler water. What is it at the moment? 14, 15 degrees. So it does get cold-ish. So at least it's not going to heat up this area up here too much. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, 65 degrees. I'm reading the wrong thing again. <laughs> water is 65 degrees. Then it comes through here. It's at 45, 40. Yeah. I want this all to melt and to be nice and cool. This has got to be done sooner rather than later. If they can please get on it. Oh, there's some more digging to be done here, which wasn't here before. There we go. Yeah, that one there needs to be done as well. So that doesn't break. Another new load of new duplicates. Look at him puffing his chest out. Vomiter, destructive, binge eater. Uh, you're pretty average. You're pretty average. Let's just say no. So then once this starts going through here and melting all of this and this pump set up, I'm running my power down here. There we go. We are going to put in here a power transformer. Why will that not go in there? I've already... I said uproot that already. I thought I already had. Um, and then I want a power transformer right by the edge. And we're going to run down here. This heavy watt wire. So that's going to come... That's basically the nearest one. And then that will go through the wall here. Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. So let's add that in. Food has decayed. Shocking. Do not let food decay, you hairy lot. Power transformer. Let's have that there. Yep. And then that's going to be deconstructed. That's going to be deconstructed. Wow, they're so quick. Food has decayed. Where's all this food decaying? As usual, nowhere. Oh, there. Sleet wheat grains. Shouldn't they be being stored in one of these? All edible. Okay, they won't take anything. Oh, I bet they're all being stored in... Oh, no! We've got 951 sleet wheat grain. I'm not storing them anywhere because I removed my storage there that was in the cold area. <gasps> We need somewhere for sleet wheat grains. Probably here. Let's just see if we can stick them on the end here. Super fast for now. Uh, food. Ration box. Nine. Build. Let's build two of those. This is like minus 13. Oh, I bet we're going to lose loads. We've got 951. Let's keep an eye on that. If somebody would be some be so kind as to come and do these that would be great how's all this going here yep it's dribbling down it's filling up just need somebody to come and do this over here lots of ice in here food has decayed we're still at 951 okay what in sleep wheat grain let's sweep that up oh it's telling me the same one okay that's fine Thank you. Build these, please. Thank you. Right, that is going to have nothing but sleet wheat grain. Oh, will they not go in? Oh, I'm an idiot. Cancel that. Would this be refrigerated? 
If I took out everything liquefiable in there and put seeds. Come here. So all my seeds at the moment are being stored. I don't know. Where are they being stored? Randomly in chests up here. That is not good. Um, yeah, let's put that on a nine and bring them down here. That's minus 10 degrees. Oh, we just don't need that, do we? Let's deconstruct that. My mistake. There we go. So they're all going to go in there instead. Good. Oh, dear. There we go. This is this is what we want to see. Water is freezing. Water's coming down here and freezing. So this water down here is minus 23. That is absolutely perfect. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> Darn it, you've missed a spot. If I build that, are you going to be able to reach through and get to it? Unreachable. Hooray. Let's deconstruct that one then. <laughs> Can you, can you reach that? Unreachable. Darn. Let's deconstruct that one then. Awaiting Wolframite. No, I don't want that built with Wolframite. Let's build that with... Uh, what do I want? Water pump. Water pump. Liquid pump. Have we not got enough? Oh man, we haven't. Um. Okay. Where can we grab some from? Probably from here. Could you reach that if I went like that? I bet you could. Actually, no, we're not going to take out that one or that one. We're going to take out this corner one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we could definitely get this here. Let's grab that as well. Oh, that's been made. There we go. If we set that to a nine, someone will come and get poor Akiri. You stress, I bet it's JV. Oh, Scott McFarland. Ooh. There we go. You coming to get Akiri? Akiri's already gone. Hang on. Who's got Akiri? Let's have a look up here. It might be being filled already. Oh, there we go. Otto. Poor Otto is bringing Akiri into the grave. Go on, stick him in. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, just making sure everybody's got massage on. Yes, they have. Oh, there we go. He's been put in. Uh, that's all copper. Oh, we've got plenty of copper ore. Let's build that thing out of copper then. There we go. So I'm hoping it doesn't all turn into... Yeah, there we go. I'm hoping it doesn't all turn into... Uh, frozen stuff because that would be pretty annoying to then try and pump. Annoying as in impossible. There we go. Let's fill that one in. Let's fill that one in. Okay, we're fine. Yep, this is all built up now. Good, good, good. Food has decayed. A lot of sleet wheat grain. <sighs> right. Um, let's take out any sleet wheat grain out of there. Let's copy that. There we go. So I don't think there is much sleep wheat grain. I think that is all now down here. 126. Okay, that's good. Uh, other seeds are being put here as well, which is fair enough. Is that going to be... Yep, yeah, that's going to be made. Yeah, look at all this. Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. Hopefully it's going to keep enough liquid here that we can still pump that out and do stuff with it. Is that unreachable? Ah, oh, you're joking. Let's dig out that one there. I'm just wondering whether... Do I need to regulate how much what is coming through here? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. is I'm going to drop that down to sort of 500-ish. Because there is water there. It is dirty water, though. A lot of it. A lot of this is polluted ice. There's snow, ice, snow, polluted ice. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be a bit of a mix in there. We are going to have to pump that out. And to get it through into here, we're going to have to put like a liquid a liquid valve on it. Um, no, not a liquid valve. A liquid filter. I rarely use those. So that would be interesting to use. Because then we can put the nasty stuff back into here, can't we? Um, so let's have a look. 
We haven't got any pipe set up here. Liquid pipe. I'll be honest, that doesn't need to go in the wall, but we may as well. If we have that... Let's stop and think a sec. Where do I want to get it to? I want to get it to here. And near to this. As well. So if we can come up there. Which we can't because of this. So if we come up. I mean we can come up there. Jump over and then jump over again. That's not too bad is it? Can we put one of these there? Yes we can. So if we go. Like that there. To jump over. Then we'll have that come down there, down there. Yeah, we'll keep it out of the way inside and we'll come this way. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's do that. Oh, hang on. Like that. Excellent. That thing's never going to get repaired there, is it? And then that's going to jump over there. And then we can go up here. And then we can go in here. There we go. So then if we want to, we can connect to that. Which would be great. Because that's going to be cold water. And then we can connect to this system up here. These two here, I'm thinking that can be fine with just hot water. So we could bring... Because that's going to end up being disconnected. Yeah, let's let that get built first. Before we start worrying about everything else. Oh, this is done, is it? Construction pending. Let's get that last little pipe done. Yeah, there we go. It's got the power. Almost it'll have the power when that's done. Excellent. What's going on here? <laughs> Everything's just melting. Look at that ice. 75 kilograms. Going up, going up, going up, going up. That is what we want to see. And then what we will do... I mean, at the minute, this is all polluted water. But eventually, it'll be a bit of everything... So, yeah, I'm changing my mind on that. We're going to whack that back up again. And then we can get our filter to pop out the nasty stuff back into here again. In fact, our nasty stuff comes across here. We could even pump this up, pump this up. Yeah, we're going to need a, a liquid filter along here. So, let's just do that first. Uh, liquid filter. How does that look? Okay, interesting. So if we have that go that way round. No. How am I going to want to do this? I've got two choices because there's only good liquid and bad liquid, isn't there? So if we have... Input there. Why is that not going to go there? Oh, because it's over that. Okay, we'll have that there. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's cancel this for a second. And then the liquid can run up into there. That could just go and attach to this. I mean, we do have a valve on there, but we'll just chuck everything over the top anyway. And then we'll say, whatever, we'll have the good liquid come out and go up there. That works, doesn't it? I wonder if that needs power. No, it doesn't. Good. Yeah, that'll work nicely. Yep, that's all set to work. They'll get some of that done. Let's maybe give this some of this a nine, just to get it done. Not you. I don't know what was a nine on there. Oh, another person. We'll have a look. I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll get all of this done, all of that done, that done, and this done. Let them build away. Yep, there we go. Right, new duplicates. I can't remember. Do we have beds left? Wow, cycle... Oh, who's idle? Cycle 399. Lindsay is idle. I think Lindsay is my main sleeper. Sleeper. Sweeper. Digger. Uh, she's now going to be on sweep and mopping duty. Yeah, there we go. Off you go. Still, this stuff hasn't been swept up. Where's Lindsay? You're not going to mop. You are just going to sweep. Nothing but sweep. I want all of this. Council sweep and mop. Okay, and then I'm going to say sweep on a nine. All of that. All of that. I want to get rid of all of that. Oh, look at how many are not complaining about being stifled. It's, it's now a few more. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. 
Uh, right, that's going in. Let's have a look at our new dupes, if we have space for them. Yeah, we have space for one more, if they're a good one. So, Destructive, no Vomiter, Binge Eater. Vomit, nah, not that good. Sorry, Gossman. Close but no cigar. Uh, I need to put these down a little bit more. We'll leave that one on 60. Actually, what's the decor like? Which is the best one for decor? 106, 100. Okay, we'll leave that one. That one on 60. These can drop down to... Let's have one on 30. One on 40. One on 45. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. How's this going? Yep, going well. Excellent. So, lots of stuff to be built. We've got this nice area going on here to cool down our water, which is working well so far. Liquid at 6 degrees instead of hundreds that it was before. Yeah, I'm wondering how this is going to work. We might need another pump. To try and grab some of this other water from here. I wonder whether this is going to fill up soon and start overflowing. We want to get this stuff down here. It's sort of doing that weird thing where the water won't mix together properly. And it forms an impenetrable barrier. It's annoying when it does that. But there we go. Uh, oh, one other little change I made. There we go. I just moved this a bit further down. I had that vent here to stop the water overflowing. And it was overflowing because the vent was too high. So I've moved that down a bit. I think we're going to have to wrap that episode up there. Hit the big B with the tea stain on if you've enjoyed this episode. And you wish to subscribe and see more. There will be another one, I believe, the day after tomorrow. We're alternating it with Dirt 4 for a while anyway. That's the idea. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.